Thank you. Can we give a very warm welcome to, to Occupy London who are over here? Welcome to the Occupy movement. And we're going to have a speaker from that movement in the second part of the demonstration. Uh, I'd now like you to give a very warm welcome to the former chair of the Stop the War Coalition and a representative here today of Unite the Union, Andrew Murray. Andrew, welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed, Jeremy. It's an honour to bring greetings to this demonstration from Unite, because today needs to be the start of a major national campaign against a war that has itself, in a way, already started. Because let's have no illusions, the attack on Iran is already beginning. It is beginning with the targeted assassinations, with the sanctions that have always been a forerunner to war, and with the vast military manoeuvres been undertaken by the US and the UK in the Persian Gulf uh, area. And let me say as well that probably all of us here stand for and support a democratic Iran. But if anyone believes that democracy in Iran can be brought by imperialist bombardment, they are living in a fool's paradise and are ignoring every single lesson of the last 15 years. They are ignoring the lessons of Afghanistan, which now has one of the most corrupt governments on earth when it was promised democracy and where we are still in a war that is destabilizing the whole region. It is ignoring the lessons of Iraq, where the Iraqi people have promised democracy and have been descended into barbarism with millions dead and an utterly bankrupt sectarian government. They are ignoring the lessons of Libya, where David Cameron promised protection for civilians and democracy, and again we have a virtual civil war, racist, uh, racist government torturing people in prisons. All of these show that you cannot get democracy and freedom from the imperialists, from British or American bombardment, and that is why the struggle for democracy in Iran must be a matter for the Iranian people themselves. And let's be clear too, there is no pretense on the part of the British and American governments about being interested in the Iranian people. This war, if it is launched, if we do not stop it, will not be about stopping the spread of nuclear weapons. As others have said, if you are interested in doing that, you would start by addressing Israel's possession of nuclear weapons. It is not about the freedom of the people of Iran, it is always about democracy. It is about protecting the dictatorships like Saudi Arabia and Bahrain, oppressing their own peoples, defying the Arab Spring and propping up those dictatorships. The reason is absolutely simple and it's absolutely clear and it was spelled out recently in an article by a man who was until a few months ago the Pentagon's own advisor on Iran policy. And he said Iran cannot be allowed to develop nuclear weapons even if it wants to, which is contested of course, cannot be allowed to adopt nuclear weapons because it would mean the United States of America would lose its freedom of manoeuvre and freedom to act at will in the Middle East. Well the United States of America and Britain should not have freedom of manoeuvre and freedom to act at will in the Middle East. That has brought nothing but bloodshed and terror to millions of people down the years in the Middle East and it is up to us, our movement, to stop the freedom of the manoeuvre of our governments in the Middle East. And that is why the anti-war movement in the months going forward must unite with the trade union movement, unite with the Occupy movement, unite with everyone who is fighting against the effects of the crisis here in this country and say this war is about dealing with that crisis in the way the imperialists want, about trying to get them out of a hole. We want to stop their freedom of manoeuvre, end the crisis and stop the war. Thank you very much. <laughs> 